Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 50, Area of Sectors, and this is part of my IGCSE exam questions series. Give these questions a go. If you find it useful, please do like the video, and let's move on. Let's get into the maths. Okay, so uh, no straightforward questions. This one is even is slightly tricky. We know what the arc length is, and we know what the angle is, so we can use our arc length formula which is the angle over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r is equal to the arc length. So in this instance we have 75 over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r is equal to 7.2. So, so to work out r we need to reverse this so we need to do 7.2 divided by 75 over 360 times by 2 pi. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by the 75 over 360 and the 2 pi, and that's going to give us our radius. So I will do 7.2, and I'll write divided by 75 over 360, times by 2 pi and this gives us 5.5 .5 pretty much exactly but I'll leave that in my calculator so that I can use that exact value when I calculate the area so the area is the um, same fraction multiplied by pi r squared this time So I will do 75 over 360, and I will times that by pi, and I will times that by the previous answer squared. And I will get 19.8 to three significant figures. Perfect. Okay, for this question, we have a triangle and we have a sector. Now, we'd want to work out the radius of the sector by using this triangle and using the cosine rule. So the cosine rule states that the angle, if we call it capital A, then little a is the side opposite, which I'm going to call R, squared, is equal to the two other sides added together squared, minus two lots of the uh, other two sides multiplied by cosine of the angle 60. Okay, so we can get r by doing the square root of all of that. So we do square root of 12 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 12 times 16 times cosine of 60, close brackets, and equals, and that is 14.4. Okay, great. And now it's asking me to work out the area of O. A, B, C. So the whole shape. Let's start by working out the area of the triangle. And the formula for that is a half times A times B times sine capital C. Where the angle is the angle in between the two other sides A and B. So we'd have to do a half times by... 12 times by 16 times by sine of 60. Okay, um, I will do that calculation now. So a half times 12 times 16 times by sine of 60 gives us a value of 83.1. And now over to the sector. So the formula for the sector is the angle over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by r squared, which we worked out was 14.4. So I'll do 38 over 360 times by pi times by 14.4 squared and I get 16, uh, sorry, 68.8. .8. 
so the total area is the 83.1 plus the 68.8. And we get 152 to three significant figures. Okay, here we have a very tricky question. So we have shape A is formed by removing a sector of a circle uh, from another sector of a circle as shown here. And shape B is um, a circle. And it says that shape A and shape B have the same area. So let's first work out the area of shape B. Um, the circle is pi times by the radius squared. And the radius is half of the diameter. So divide that by 2 gives me 1 minus x. And that needs to be squared. Okay, now let's look at the area of A. So the larger sector will be 45 over 360, which simplifies down to 1 eighth, times by the radius, or the pi times the radius squared, sorry, and the radius being 5x minus 1. So it's pi times by 5x minus 1 squared. And we need to subtract the unshaded sector, which is also the same angle, so that is an eighth, times by pi times by the radius of that sector squared. OK. So now we equate A and B together. And what I can notice straight away that A and B, all the terms in A and B, both have a factor of pi. So I'm just going to get rid of that factor of pi. And then I'm going to write that 1 minus x all squared is going to equal 1 eighth of 5x minus 1 squared minus 1 eighth of 3x minus 1 squared. Now I think it might be easier rather than having these 8s here I'm going to times every term by 8 which will get rid of the 8s and this one will need to be 8 times larger. Okay now it's time for us to expand. There's no uh, nothing else we can do to simplify it we need to just expand these brackets. So I'm going to get um, a 1, I'm going to get a minus x and another minus x, a so minus 2x, and I'm going to get a minus x times a minus x, which is an x squared. Here I'm going to get a 25x squared. I'm going to get a minus 5x and another minus 5x. And I'm going to get 1 times 1 is 1. Or minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1, sorry. And then I'm going to take away, I'm going to put the second one in brackets. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. A 3x times a minus 1 is a minus 3x. And then a minus 1 times a 3x is another minus 3x. And then minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. Great. I put the second one in brackets because I'm taking that away. So I'm going to make sure that I take away every term. I'm going to need to swap the signs of all of those in a minute. Okay, multiplying this out by 8 gives me this. I've got 25x squared minus 9x squared is 16x squared. I've got minus 10x minus minus 6x, which is minus 4x. And I've got 1 minus 1, which is just going to cancel out. I'm going to move everything over to the right side. So taking away 8x squared is going to give me 8x squared on the right. And then adding 16x to both sides is going to give me plus 12x. And then minusing 8 over here is going to give me minus 8. I could divide this all through by 4 to make it easier for myself to get 2x squared plus 
3x minus 2. I'll then need to factorise this, and I'll do that by using the AC method. So AC is equal to 2 times minus 2, which is 4, and the B term is equal to 3. So the two numbers I need to times together to make minus 4 and add to 3 are 4 and minus 1. So I can write 2x, 2x all over 2, and I can put those numbers in plus 4 and minus 1. And I can divide the left one by 2, so it gives me x plus 2 and 2x minus 1. So my x solutions are minus 2 and 1 half. But it does say find the value singular of x and that's because x is a distance so therefore it can't be negative so we must reject this one and accept this one. And we're done. Okay, that sector's done. Uh, if you found it useful, please do like the video and then move on to the next topic. I will see you there. Bye for now.